Sierra Space is about to take the space industry by storm thanks to its dream chaser tenacity space plane. At a time when companies are focusing on perfecting reusable rockets, Sierra Space has opted for a more familiar approach to space travel by designing a space plane that can land on the ground. Let's talk about the dream chaser tenacity and how it stands out from the competition. The CEO of Sierra Space enthusiastically stated that diving into the ocean is dreadful while landing on a runway is incredibly pleasant. This statement rings true for many, and now it might become a reality for space travelers. Dream Chaser, Sierra Space's remarkable achievement, is on the brink of making this dream a reality after more than 10 years of development and overcoming numerous setbacks. Dream Chaser represents a groundbreaking advancement in space technology, being hailed as the world's only commercial space plane capable of landing on runways. It has garnered significant support from NASA, securing a substantial contract to resupply the International Space Station. After decades of meticulous planning, technical expertise, and rigorous testing, the first test article of Dream Chaser has been officially completed. As a result, Sierra Space has brought Dream Chaser one step closer to its eagerly anticipated maiden flight, scheduled for April next year. On May 31st, the company made a groundbreaking announcement. They successfully powered up the space plane within their assembly facility. This achievement involved supplying electrical power to the vehicle, a function that would typically be generated by its solar panels in space. The team activated flight computers and other essential components, marking a significant milestone. Tom Weiss, the chief executive of Sierra Space, emphasized the importance of this achievement, referring to it as a key moment in Dream Chaser's extensive journey. He expressed his enthusiasm, highlighting the significance of this test for the space plane's development. Looking ahead, the company is gearing up for the next phase of testing. The first Dream Chaser, named Tenacity, will soon be transported to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, which was formerly known as Plum Brook Station. Over the next one to three months, engineers will conduct rigorous tests to evaluate the space plane's resilience. These tests will include assessing its ability to withstand the intense vibrations and acoustics experienced during a rocket launch, as well as the extreme temperatures it will encounter during flight. Before its final launch preparations at Cape Canaveral, the space plane will undergo a crucial testing phase inside a massive thermal vacuum chamber. Sierra Space has not disclosed a specific timeline for these milestones. However, during a panel discussion at the 38th Space Symposium in April, Jenna Cavandi, the president of Sierra Space, revealed some details. She mentioned that Dream Chaser is scheduled to be transported to the test facility in July. There, the vehicle will undergo rigorous testing for several months before being shipped to Florida for the final launch preparations. Cavandi expressed confidence, stating that they aim to be fully prepared for launch by the end of the year. In terms of its physical progress, the first Dream Chaser spacecraft, designed for orbital missions, is taking shape. Its distinctive features include folding wings and a fuselage covered with custom tiles, designed to protect the spacecraft's composite structure from the intense heat experienced during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The spacecraft also includes a landing section, and technicians are diligently working on the finishing touches before it leaves the factory. Inside the spacecraft, workers are installing the final components, including pipes for the environmental control system. This system is vital as it will help maintain a pressurized environment inside Dream Chaser, ensuring the safety and comfort of astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Currently, Dream Chaser is expected to serve the essential role of transporting cargo to and from the research complex orbiting Earth, located approximately 385 kilometers away. It follows a meticulous operational process. The spacecraft launches atop a conventional rocket, maneuvers in space akin to a satellite, and then elegantly lands on a runway, facing the production floor. To ensure smooth operations, Sierra Space has established a dedicated mission control room. In this high-tech space, engineers diligently monitor and command the spacecraft while it is in orbit. At the end of the hallway, there's a mock-up model of Dream Chaser. This realistic representation provides astronauts with a training ground where they learn how to board the spacecraft and efficiently handle tasks like packing and unpacking cargo when it docks at the station. We're reaching the final stages of preparation, commented Angie Wise, Sierra Space's chief safety officer. We're completing the installation of close-out panels, essentially getting it ready for transport. We've conducted thorough checks on the landing gear, and now we're in the process of stowing everything and moving it to the transport fixture to facilitate its departure from here. As part of the stringent safety measures in place, NASA engineers are meticulously reviewing Sierra Space's data products, while government and contractor teams are collaboratively conducting comprehensive tests to ensure that Dream Chaser can safely approach the space station, which is currently home to seven astronauts. Wise emphasized that Sierra Space has entered phase three of NASA's three-part safety review process, demonstrating their unwavering commitment to safety and precision. Dream Chaser is an extraordinary spacecraft with a remarkable story. It represents a vision of the future of space travel, 
drawing inspiration from the early days of the space age and seamlessly combining elements of both rockets and airplanes. Consequently, Dream Chaser Tenacity boasts distinctive features that set it apart from traditional spacecraft. Dream Chaser Tenacity stands out for its compact size, measuring 30 feet, 9 meters in length. This compact design reflects a dedication to efficiency without compromising functionality. One of its notable features is the incorporation of folding wings, enhancing its adaptability. These wings allow Dream Chasers to be stowed inside a 5-meter payload fairing during launch, reducing ascent loads and providing protection against debris. This innovation significantly enhances the space plane's flexibility and versatility. The space plane boasts a lifting body design, which was successfully demonstrated during a test flight over the California desert. This design enables autonomous deployment of landing gear and precise touchdowns on runways, showcasing Dream Chaser's adaptability. Adding to its capabilities is the introduction of the Shooting Star Cargo Module, underscoring Sierra Space's commitment to efficient cargo transport. This flexible 15-ton module attaches to the Dream Chaser space plane, increasing its cargo carrying capacity and expanding its usability for various mission profiles. With the help of Shooting Star, Dream Chaser can deliver up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to lower orbits highlighting its versatility and contribution to future space logistics. Furthermore, Dream Chaser Tenacity features a state-of-the-art heat shield, representing a significant leap forward from the space shuttle program. Sierra Space engineers have employed modern manufacturing techniques to enhance the strength and reduce the cost of thousands of thermal protection system tiles. These tiles, measuring 10 inches by 10 inches, are not only larger but also stronger and lighter than their shuttle counterparts. The use of innovative materials and manufacturing methods aims to improve reliability and ease of refurbishment, addressing challenges encountered during the shuttle era. This commitment to technological advancement in the heat shield ensures safe entry, descent and runway landings for both crewed and cargo missions aboard Dream Chaser Tenacity. While the commercial spaceflight industry is currently fixated on designing fully reusable rockets, space planes offer distinct advantages, particularly in their smooth landing capabilities upon re-entry to Earth. These advantages include enhanced safety, operational flexibility, efficiency, and the potential for future commercial opportunities. For its debut flight, Dream Chaser Tenacity is set to launch atop ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket, marking a significant milestone. However, the launch schedule depends on the success of Vulcan's first test flight, currently slated for December. The Dream Chaser team closely monitors these developments, aiming for an April launch if all goes well. Sierra Space also envisions crewed Dream Chaser missions to its space station, potentially transforming the landscape of space transportation. If Dream Chaser succeeds, it could usher in a new era of space plane missions, a concept not seen since the retirement of the Space Shuttle in 2011. Beyond its direct impact, Dream Chaser's success may stimulate collaboration and partnerships within the industry. As Sierra Space demonstrates the viability of its spacecraft, other entities might adopt similar technologies, fostering innovation and healthy competition. This collaborative spirit could lead to a more dynamic and robust space industry ecosystem, driving advancements in space exploration and transportation. What do you think? Is the Dream Chaser the next big thing in space transportation or are conventional methods such as rockets still better? Please let us know in the comments below.